moved away from my parents' house about a year before, and had been trying to make this movie about my place in this world. Needless to say, there's been a few stumbling blocks. Yeah, come on, let's do like a cool shot. Okay, that looks good. This, this is, will represent our love. This represents love. Left busy for my camera moves, my girlfriend decided to take over. Oh, hello. <laughs> I can see you over there. I've been thinking about how to make this movie work, you know? Right. First you say, oh, I'm going to make a movie about myself and, like, my family and stuff, you know? Right. But then I just think, like, who do I think I am making a movie about myself? So, like, I've been trying to, like, figure out how I can, like, Make the movie big, you know, and like talk about all sorts of like random things and like about the world and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking a way to do that is to just do it up front, you know. In the beginning, it'll start out about all these random things. Planets circling the sun. Molecules bonding. The beginning of the universe. Volcanoes erupting. The ebb and flow of humanity. And an ant scrounging around. And then just like crash land into like my family. My mom will come home and she has takeout. <laughs> It was the year 2008 AD, and my parents and I were sitting down for a nice meal from the corner shish kebab joint, topped off by a TV special about Iran, the country we'd all left over 20 years ago. In an expansionist adventure, Iraq aimed to establish itself as a Gulf power by neutralizing its closest rival, Iran. A conflict that threatened Western oil interests dragging in the superpowers to protect them and prevent either side claiming victory. Iran had a message for Western governments supporting Iraq with armaments. These people who come here to fight, they just, I, I, I mean, they've left their families, they've left their houses. Just they want to come here just to fight the Iraqi. But your country is now helping Iraq, right? Tehran, capital of Iran. It became a new front line from 1984. Iraq began air and missile attacks in the so-called War of the Cities. Night after night, thousands of Iranians left their homes in Tehran to take refuge in the hills above the city. In three separate wars of the cities, thousands of civilians on both sides were killed and many more injured. As I watched the news footage roll by, I could hardly imagine my parents, 24 years younger, dodging scud missiles, tripping through rubble, and giving birth to me. This was total war, reaching out to touch civilians as much as the military. These days, 
and joined a million other sons and daughters of ancient Persia, who've reluctantly turned their backs on one of the oldest civilizations on planet Earth. But they all dream of returning someday, if not themselves, then through future generations. But for now, after about 120 years of life between the two of them, my parents have ended up here, mother and father to a 24-year-old me. Glimpses into their past make me wonder how all this came to be. Oh, wow. Oh, how much hair you had. <laughs> My God, I lost a lot of hair. You had beautiful hair. You <laughs> had big ears. I think it looks like arrows. <laughs> arrows. <laughs> this is my son. I've always known that. But what else is there to know? Planets will have to wait when there's so much I don't know right here at home. Who are these two people? What are they talking about all the time when I'm not around? What are they thinking about? What have they been doing their whole lives? And what would they be doing now if it weren't for me?